So why use channel groups if you're going to have more than, say, 10 channels that you're going to subscribe to in a single connection? Why not just use multiplexing all the time? Well, channel groups actually expands the number of channels you can actually subscribe to from a recommendation of, say, less than 50 or a, you know, a, a real recommendation of less than 10. Channel groups allows you to subscribe to up to 20,000 channels on a single connection. Now, whether that's practical for your application or not is up to you. But the way you go about it is you subscribe to channel groups and you add channels to those channel groups. So with channel groups, you can actually subscribe up to 10 different channel groups per connection. And in each channel group, you can have up to 2,000 channels. So let's review that for a second. You subscribe to a channel group, you add channels to that channel group, and you can remove those channels as well. And that's the same concept as subscribing and unsubscribing from channels. So you subscribe to the channel group, any channels that are in that channel group, you are now subscribed to those channels. So the, the terminology is a little bit different, but the end result is the same. Now why are channel groups, why, why, why can you subscribe to more channels using channel groups than multiplexing? Well the idea is that when you're just multiplexing, you're saying subscribe to channel A, B, and C, they, th those are actually from the, from the client side point of view, the, the, the client is actually maintaining those number of channels and it, and it ends up in the URL, the length of the actual URL. With channel groups, you're just subscribing to the channel group or up to 10 channel groups and on the server side is a list of those channels per channel group. So the server is actually maintaining that list of channels and that's why we can uh, provide you with more channels per connection. Using channel groups is slightly different in how you implement uh, the actual code versus uh, multiplexing. With multiplexing, again, you just subscribe, provide a list of channels, and you're good to go. With channel groups, you have to add a channel or multiple channels to a channel group and then subscribe to that channel group. But again, you can't just subscribe to an empty channel group. It will give you an error. So if you, if you, in your application, you want to make sure that when you subscribe to a channel group, it does already have at least one channel in it. From that point forward though, that channel group is just like a channel. Anybody can use that channel group and it's up to your application to decide whether that channel group is unique to that user or is available to a number of users. When you actually use channel groups, when you subscribe to a channel group, you need to provide the channel group name and then a callback for that channel group. And then all channels in that channel group, any messages that are received on those channels will actually be received by that callback. But if you think about the power of channel groups, you provide a channel group that has some sort of uh, context to it, say sports versus news channel group versus a, uh, a finance channel group. And you can have a number of users subscribe to that channel group and any channels that are already in there, they are now subscribed to. And then you can have your server actually add and remove channels to and from that channel group. So rather than having the actual client applications do the add and remove or subscribe to and unsubscribe from those channels, your server can now be in control, which is a really powerful concept because once the server adds or removes that channel from the channel group, everybody, all clients that are subscribed to that channel group have now seen that effect immediately. So it's a very powerful concept when it comes to multiplexing and that's why we recommend channel groups over multiplexing because of the flexibility and the sheer number of channels that you're allowed to, to, to subscribe to at one time. Just to rewind a little bit, you create a channel group, you add channels to it, then you subscribe to the channel group.